What's going on guys? Thank you so much for joining me for day two of this 10 day ukulele starter course. In this video, we're gonna be learning a new chord, a new strumming pattern, and going straight on with learning a fantastic song, Riptide by Vance Joy. Now I've chosen Riptide because it's one of those classic ukulele songs that is very well known and has done a lot to popularize ukulele over the last few years. And there's something magical that happens when you start to learn any instrument and suddenly, uh, for the first time perhaps, you play something on the instrument and it sounds like the recording. It sounds like what you wanted it to sound like and it sounded like what you've heard before. That is a fantastic feeling and it's such an amazing achievement for anyone that's experienced that. And I just wanted to try and share that with you guys as soon as possible. So even if you're not super familiar with this song, it's gonna be a fantastic choice for you. Um, let's look at our new chord first of all. So our new chord that we're going to be going for is the A minor chord, played with our middle finger at the second fret, so first fret, second fret, of the string nearest to you. This is the first minor chord that we've gone for, and it sounds distinctly sad compared to the major chords that we learnt in day one. And if you haven't learned the F chord, the G chord, and the C chord on ukulele, then do check out day one, but we'll have some helpful links on the website. The links are in the description to the lesson pages that you'll need. So with that middle finger at the second fret, we could support the neck like this, or have the thumb a little bit lower. It is entirely up to you. But the three chords that we'll be needing for the most of this song are the A minor chord to the G chord, which is like a D shape if you're used to practicing guitar, but that is a G major chord, and to the C. A minor, G, and C. Last time, A minor, G, and C. And the first of two strumming patterns that we're going to be going for that sound really cool. Uh, the first one is down, down, up, down, up. Very recognizable as the song. There's a real trick to this where ideally, if we just look at that A minor chord and strum on that as our example, we want to really get two ghost strums in there. Down, down, up, down. Down, down, up. Okay, and then finish off as normal. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up. And it can feel a little bit weird to be strumming with your first finger um, if you're doing the up strums for the first time in particular. Uh, try not to catch the skin at the uh, lower part of the nail here. Um, otherwise, you know, that, that can start to sting a little bit. But if we stay to the tip of the nail on the down strums, and then the tip of the first finger on the up strums, you should be totally fine with this. And we want to use down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, to that rhythm. We would do that once per chord on the A minor, on the G chord, and then twice on the C chord. One last time, as a demo. Okay, that's what we're gonna be going for. There's a real trick to this, where on that last up strum, we lift off at the same time as strumming, and then we arrive on the down strum uh, at the same time as we put our fingers down for the next chord. With these faster strumming patterns, that is my number one tip. Down, down, up, down, lift, down, down, up, down, lift. And if you struggle with chord changes in general, a good rule of thumb to try is to lift off a little bit early, either uh, you know on, on the last beat, on beat four, or on the end of four, like we're doing here, you know, if, if we think about it as the last beat of the bar. There, but make sure you're down 
your fingers are down on the next chord that you're changing to on beat one. That early lift is important. It's even what the pros do. And it's just getting the sync, getting the, the two hands in sync to work together, doing it at the right time that is important. That is the strumming pattern for the verses. As an example, Scared of dentists and the dark I was scared of pretty girls and starting conversations That strumming pattern takes us through the verse and the pre-chorus um, and then it is slightly different strumming pattern for the chorus if anything even easier but it is a change in the chorus, it's the same three chords. Lady running down to the rip type, taking away to the dark side. Wanna be your left hand man. Okay? But we need the strumming pattern down, down, up, up, down. Down, down, up, up, down. It is the most common strumming pattern ever on ukulele and guitar. And we're gonna be going for it here. Just a one quick demo on the A minor chord. Down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. Play that along to me now and join in in two, three, four. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, just using that first finger. And changing chord after one bar, after one bar, and then Remember to stay on the C chord longer. That would sound like. Baby, running down to the riptide, taking the way to the dark side. I wanna be your left hand man. If you can't do that one, or you just keep accidentally playing the first strumming pattern, it's totally cool at this point. Um, if you can't sing along, this one's a really tricky one to sing along with. So the six songs that I talked through one in depth in day one and then gave you five other options which will have tutorials coming really soon. Um, they'd be the ones that I would be playing and singing along to first before this one. This day two is all about increasing that strumming. But let's have a playthrough of the verse to the chorus of this song now and try and put those together. Then I'll talk you through the structure of the rest of the song and that's what we're gonna do for the rest of day two. So from the top of the song, would be that strumming pattern. We're ready? Two, three, four. Down, down, up, down, up. Down, down, up, down, up. I was scared of dentists and the dark. I was scared of pretty girls and starting conversations And all my friends are turning green The other magician's assistant in their dreams And they come unstuck One strum of the sea on come unstuck and then we're on the new strumming pattern, down, down, up, up, down, from the chorus in a one, two, three, four, lady, running down to the riptide, taking away to the dark side, I want to be your left hand man, and I love you when you're singing that song, and I got a lump in my throat, yeah, cause you're gonna sing the words wrong. <laughs> Which I probably did, and I'm sorry if I did. <laughs> okay, so the only other section other than those, so verse, pre chorus, chorus, yeah, verse, pre chorus, chorus again, and then we've got this bridge, which in the UK and Europe we tend to call a bridge a middle eight. It happens in the middle of a song just after the second chorus. It's sort of something different, something new. Um, in America and the USA, you guys call this a bridge. And this is the same chords, just on the A minor and G for twice as long. So it goes like this. 
and this is the I just wanna I just wanna know. And we add the only chord that we know that we've not covered yet, which is the F. I just wanna, I just wanna know. If you're gonna, if you're gonna stay. Okay? Let's go for that bridge just once together in a one, two, three, four. I just wanna, I just wanna know if you're gonna, if you're gonna stay. Okay? Same again. Then at the end of that, A minor. G, C, strum once and just hold each one, each chord down. And then we finish on a chorus as we've done already. Down, down, up, up, down, running down to the rib tide, taking away to the dark side. I wanna be your left hand man. And that is how to play Riptide, which is our song at day two of this free 10 day ukulele starter course. If anything wasn't coming together for you there, I encourage you to not only, you know, check out video one again of this series, but I'm aware you might have seen it already. It's really imperative though that you get a little bit more strumming and song experience in the extra songs that were demoed quickly in day one. And I'll have tutorials coming for those really soon. I'm sure if you're watching this, you know, in the future at some point on the interwebs, you will see those in the link in the description. And uh, you know, we've got songs like Happy Birthday, Twist and Shout, Amazing Grace, sort of those ones that you can have a little easier play and sing along with before you go for something a little bit more challenging like this one. Again, you can do this 10 day course at your leisure. You can take a little bit more time, you know, just cover one day and then practice that for a few days and then get to the next video. Or of course you can binge watch them all, uh, all in one go, which I would love you to do now. It would be great. And subscribe if you want more ukulele tutorials. Let me know what songs you want me to teach. And I really hope to see you again in day three of this free ukulele course. Bye for now.